I swear I'm trying. Uh, <laughs> Recently, I've been yearning for The Sims 2, and as such, I felt so nostalgic. I wanted to do a tier list of all of The Sims 2 packs. Our tier list ranges from trash, although there's probably going to be nothing in this tier. We've got not bad, fun, amazing, and S tier. So first up, we got The Sims 2 University Life. Now, this pack was the first expansion pack that came out for The Sims 2, which is surprising because in The Sims 3 and in The Sims 4, the university pack came later on. It was really, really interesting that they put it first that time around. And honestly, it kind of felt like it didn't belong in the game at that time. For me personally, it felt like it was a little bit too soon. However, it was a very, very fun pack. As a result, I'm just gonna put this one in the fun column. It wasn't the best, but it wasn't the worst. Don't come at me. I know I'm probably gonna get loads of hate for saying that because everybody loves every pack of The Sims 2, but that is just my opinion anyway. Next up, we got the pets pack. Now, pff, honestly, I didn't really like the pets pack that much in The Sims 2. I felt like it was very bland. Like it added pets and some pets interactions, but it didn't really add that much. I didn't really like the build by items in it. I didn't really like the pet interactions. Next up we have the Sims 2 Light Life. Now this was the second pack for the Sims 2 and this was probably the one that I played the most out of all of my packs. It was so much fun. It came with vampires. It came with, oh, it came with the gypsy matchmaking service, which is where you could basically hire a matchmaker to find you someone to date. Like we do not have that in the Sims 4. I miss it so, so much. It was such a fun feature. This was the first time we got drivable cars in the Sims 2. Like it was just such a revolutionary pack. It came with a lot of cool stuff that really, really set the franchise forward. Apart from The Sims 4, because we didn't get drivable cars in The Sims 4. In that sense, it set the franchise backwards. Anyway, for this one, I'm going to put this one as S tier. The first S tier one, because I honestly think if you're playing The Sims 2, this is one of the most essential packs. Next up on the list, we got The Sims 2 open for business now. Oh my god. This pack was amazing. Do you know what? This goes straight in S tier. I'm not even dilly dallying around. This pack basically came with the ability to open your own business. We actually got a taste of that in the Sims 4 Get to Work pack, where you could basically open your own retail business. Now, mm, the way it was implemented in the Sims 4 was absolutely terrible. However, the way it was implemented in the Sims 2 was amazing. When people go shopping, it's actually a real shop. You know, you can buy normal things, like you can buy groceries, you can buy basically any, almost any item that was purchasable in The Sims 2, you could sell it in a shop. You could have your own bakery, you could do anything. And the animations were not lazy, they were so good. The problem with The Sims 4 Get to Work pack is that when you own a shop, you have to have a cash register, but you can't use it. If your Sims wanna buy something, basically you have to treat every purchase as like a special interaction where you walk over to The Sim, do it on like an iPad thing where you handle the transaction. It takes a really long time and it's basically just a lazy way of doing it because they couldn't have been bothered to make the animation to make The Sims actually line up at a cash register and it's so, so frustrating. However, with The Sims 2, there was an, actually an animation to hold the shopping bag, walk up to the cash register, do the cash register things. Um, that was such an awkward way of wording it, basically selling an item at the cash register. The staff that you could hire in The Sims 2 were much more intuitive. And one really cool thing is that if NCPs, random townies, came to your shop to buy things, they would actually withhold those items in their inventory. So if you switch households to a person who's just bought something, you will find that purchase item in their list. It's amazing. In The Sims 4, you get the same people. Sega, stop dancing. I'm doing a video. <laughs> Sorry. I forgot what I was saying. In The Sims 4, what you'll find is if you open a retail shop, someone like Mortimer Goth will come to your shop every single day and probably buy the exact same item, yet if you go into his household, they won't be in his household inventory. It's so immersion breaking. The Sims 2, on the other hand, when that extra step forward, I love it so much. That is why it's S tier. So next up, we got The Sims 2 Bon Voyage. Now, this is really tough. I'm really torn between S tier and amazing. I think for now, I'm gonna put it in amazing. Maybe we could put it in S tier. The reason why it was amazing is it because it came with so much stuff. The Sims 2 Bon Voyage is kind of like The Sims 3 World Adventures, and if you didn't play The Sims 3 World Adventures, The Sims 2 Bon Voyage is kind of like The Sims 4 Salvadorado Pack, whatever that was called, our Jungle Adventures, and kind of like Snowy Escape, and kind of like Island Living, but all in one pack. So immediately from the offset, we basically got three Sims 4 packs worth of content in one Sims 2 pack, so yeah, we got a lot of content in this pack. We got three different types of places you could stay on holiday. You could have a hotel, you could have a vacation, 
vacation home, or you could have a campground. So even The Sims 4 Outdoor Retreat, Island Living, Snowy Escape, and Jungle Adventure all merged together in one pack. So as you can probably tell, it was very good value for money. We also got Bigfoot in this pack, and we also got tons of vacation features. Now granted, the vacation features were okay. They weren't that in-depth compared to The Sims 4 ones. However, they were so really, really fun, and we did get quite a lot of items in these packs. So if you compare it to The Sims 4 especially, like, it was honestly so much better than any of The Sims 4 holiday packs we've had. Next up, we got Apartment Life. Now, mm, this might be an unpopular opinion, but I'm just gonna put this one in not bad. It was okay. Basically, it just introduced apartments into The Sims 2, but it didn't really add that many features. Like, it came with some build-by items and things, but honestly, it wasn't that great. The only reason why I like this pack originally is because it came with witches, which was like the first time in The Sims 2. Other than like the witches, it wasn't really that much about apartment life. It was more of like a social gathering, social pack, kind of like The Sims 4 get together, but a bit less in depth because of that. I'd say it's not bad. If you like apartments, you should get it, but honestly, it didn't really make the gameplay that much more enjoyable for me personally. Next up, we got the seasons pack for The Sims 2. Now, this is basically just going in S tier. No, 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 um, no words about it. Now, honestly speaking, this pack was not as in depth as The Sims 3 seasons or The Sims 4 seasons. In my opinion, The Sims 4 seasons is the best seasons game that we've received in the franchise. However, The Sims 2 seasons was the first, and it was the first time they introduced weather into the game, and people at the time, I remember, were so excited because it was like, oh my god, we actually have weather now, which is such a random little thing because honestly, in my opinion, weather should be base game. There's no reason why we have to pay a premium for weather. But anyway, at the time, it was really, really cool. It didn't really come with like festivals or calendar events like we got in The Sims 4. However, it just added a little bit extra in terms of gameplay and being able to enjoy your life in The Sims 4 more, in The Sims 2 more. Next up, then we got the stuff packs. Now, unlike The Sims 4, we didn't actually get game packs, so we just got regular stuff packs. The first one is family fun stuff. Now, this was actually the first stuff pack I got for this game and is going straight into S tier just for nostalgia's sake because it came with a lot of cool stuff. This is basically kind of like The Sims 4, um, get to kids, um, kids living, I forgot what it's called, the Sims 4 kids stuff pack. It was so much better, it came with so much more stuff, it came with these really, really cool wallpapers and floorings and outfits and furniture, it was all just like fun, fairy tale, sci-fi, magical fantasy, it came with all this cool stuff to enjoy your kids' lives more, and honestly it was one of the best packs we had for the Sims 2 in terms of family gameplay. It didn't really add that much in terms of gameplay stuff, it was more so a cosmetic pack, but actually there is actually a mod for The Sims 4 right now where you can actually download the family fun stuff on the mod and put it in your Sims 4 game. And I highly recommend that mod if you do like family gameplay because it was essential back in The Sims 2 days. So next up is The Sims 2 Glamour stuff. Now, mm, this was an all right pack. I honestly don't know where to put this one. I might just put it in fun or amazing. Oh. I'm gonna put it in fun. This pack came with actually a lot of stuff. Can I say, by the way, in The Sims 2 stuff packs came with about 60 items each. That is so much more than The Sims 2 comes with, or is it? Actually, don't hold me to that because I don't know, but it came with a lot of items anyway. And these items were not, it was not like the vintage glamour stuff in The Sims 4. It was more like modern. It was very pop arty. We had a lot of pop art stuff in here and it was very glamorous. And honestly, I didn't really use it that much. I did use some of the build by items, but honestly, the creative sim items weren't that good. In addition to that, a lot of the furniture was a little bit random, but it was okay, so it'll just go in the fun pack. Next up, we've got IKEA stuff now. Oh my god, this is going in S tier. Why EA haven't renewed this collaboration for The Sims 4? I have no idea. This pack was honestly amazing. It was literally the best pack we ever, 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 ever received as a stuff pack in any Sims game. If you don't know, it basically came with all of the great IKEA furniture that we all know and love and that we all use in real life. You could actually build your own real bedroom using all of the furniture from the IKEA stuff pack that you have in real life in your Sims game. It was amazing. It was revolutionary. I can't believe we don't have this anymore. I really, really hope the Sims team consider working with IKEA again because it was just an amazing pack. Next up, we've got mansion garden stuff. Now, this was actually an all right stuff pack. This was the last stuff pack that we ever received for the Sims 2. Actually, it was the last pack ever for the Sims 2. And I'm going to put this one in fun. It wasn't amazing. It was just fun. This was basically kind of like a building pack more than a creative sim or gameplay pack. It basically just came with a lot of build by items to create mansions and 
gardens. <laughs> so one cool feature that it came with was a sweeping staircase where you could just have like a luxury, you know, very expensive mansion style staircase, which was so cool back in the day. In addition to that, randomly, it came with uh, solar panels. I don't know why it came with solar panels, but they came with the pack. It was just like a mini eco lifestyle thing. That was pretty cool. But honestly, it wasn't that great. It was more for builders pack. And in The Sims 2, building wasn't that fun. It was kind of difficult. So because of that, I wouldn't really say it was essential, but more so just fun if you like that kind of stuff. Next up, we got the H&M fashion stuff. Now, like the Ikea pack, this was basically just a collaboration to provide H&M fashion. Um, this is going to be an extremely unpopular opinion, but I'm going to be putting this one in not bad. <laughs> So when I first bought this pack, I remember when I was really younger, I went to the game shop and I looked at the pack and on the back of the pack, it said you could run your own fashion show. And I was like, oh my God, that's so cool. We can actually have a fashion show. So I downloaded it thinking we could do fashion shows in The Sims 2 and um, we can't. It was basically kind of like con, really. It was false advertisement. They said we could do something that we couldn't do. And I was really disappointed and it really tainted my feelings about this pack. And do you know what? The fashion that came with it was all right, but it wasn't the best fashion in the world. Honestly, I didn't really like it that much. It was kind of bland. I much prefer the Sims 4 Moschino stuff pack that comes with really cool high-end fashion. Granted, the Moschino pack didn't actually come with that much fashion, but it was really cool fashion. In the Sims 2, it was just kind of bland. It was very base game. It didn't really add much to my game, so because of that, I wasn't really into the pack. Sorry, I know a lot of people love this pack for nostalgia's sake, but honestly, I didn't. Next up, we got the Sims 2 Teen Lifestyle stuff pack. Now, actually, I'm going to be putting this one in amazing because it really really enhanced team gameplay. Granted this didn't actually come with any gameplay enhancements. In fact I don't think any of the Sims 2 stuff packs actually came with any gameplay features or if they did they were very very mild. These were mostly just build buy or cast packs. However the Sims 2 team style stuff was actually really fun for gameplay because it came with basically three main themes. It came with like a gothic theme, it came with like a sporty jock theme and then it came with like a... I forgot. <laughs> Two seconds later. And the last one was socialite theme. Obviously that one wasn't very memorable for me. But basically, yeah, you can either have your sim basically as like a socialite, as a goth, or as a sporty jog. And just adding these three kind of clicks into the game made it so that you can give your sims and the sims to a lot more personality. I personally love making gothic sims and I gave them all of the gothic outfits and furniture from this pack and it was so much fun. It just had to give the game a little bit more character. In the sims 4 right now, we don't really have the option to make specific teen style stuff because teens basically get all of the same outfits as adults there's nothing really that makes them special and I really really miss that kind of gameplay. Next up we got the celebration stuff pack now this basically came with enough stuff so that you could do birthdays and weddings and parties and things. Mm, this is gonna go in um, fun because I actually really enjoy playing with this one. In the Sims 2 area but in the Sims 2 era, one of my favourite things to do was to be able to create parties, like weddings. I loved doing weddings. It was my favourite type of gameplay back in the day. I loved having birthday parties. They were a lot more meaningful in The Sims 2 than they were in The Sims 4. Like, people used to actually interact with each other much better. The parties always went much smoother. It was just such a fun process. So when we had this celebrations pack, I was able to have much more furniture and things that I could use to do celebrations. I remember it came with this, like, huge balloon banner that was really, really fun. It was just an all-rounded pack. However, it wasn't amazing. It didn't really add that much. Again, it was just like build by items, as with all of the Sims 2 stuff packs, basically. Next up, we've got the Sims 2 kitchen and bathroom home design stuff, which is the longest ever stuff pack name. I don't know why it was so long. In the Sims 4, we got the uh, modern kitchen stuff pack, which came with, uh, you know, some kitchen items, but it didn't really come with anything else. Whereas in this pack, we actually got so much stuff for kitchens and bathrooms. We also got some random other things that can go in any room of the house. So it was a really, really well-rounded pack. It actually came with a lot of stuff. I personally wasn't very good at building in The Sims 2, I just like gameplay, so I never actually really used this pack that much. However, it was alright, some of the creative sim items were very random, but it was an okay pack. I don't really have that much to say about it because I didn't really play with it, so I'm probably just going to put it with not bad. Next up we've got The Sims 2 Happy Holiday Stuff Pack. Now, do you know what, this is the first pack I'm going to put in the trash box. Stop it! Maybe the only stuff pack that's going to go in the trash box. Now honestly, I... do you know what, I played with 
with this pack a lot because it came with Christmas stuff and I love Christmas. However, it wasn't very fun. The problem with this pack, it was an absolute cash grab. This was probably the first and the last cash grab we got The Sims 2 because basically they rehash this pack many, many times. Then they release another holiday stuff pack. I can't remember what it was called. Let me Google it. Here we go. It was called The Sims 2 Christmas Party Pack. And I remember I got this and I thought, oh my God, another Christmas pack because we already got the Happy Holiday Stuff Pack. So I was then like, oh my God, this party, Christmas party stuff pack is going to be amazing. Then I got it and um, it was basically the exact same pack as a holiday stuff pack but rehashed and I was so disappointed because I wasted my pocket money and you know back then when you're like a child you know this is a lot of money to spend so I was so 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 disappointed with this and because of that I have put it in the trash box what do you guys think about that let me know down in the comment section below I was so nostalgic about the sims 2 if you want to see another one of these tier lists for another sims game let me know I'd love to do it other than that thank you so much see you next time